everyone! Welcome back to episode 6 of 4 what Star Only, the series where we only play with 4 stars. Lantern Rate has been and gone quicker than I imagined too. We are going to start to build our characters, get them to maybe level 50, and kick Spiral Abyss Floor 4's butt. So I'm focusing on ascending one team this episode. We need to go see the Emperor of Fire of Iron. We need to go see the Oceanid in Lua, which is going to be very fun. Whoa, we have like 10 million Mora. I did not see that. No, it's not 10 million. No, it's a million. We've got a million Mora. We need to go to Caprilia. And we also need to go visit the Dendro Hypostasis in Sumeru. And we're really going to be going on a trip this week. The good thing is, is that the ocean is pretty easily accessible. We can go to Fontaine via this waypoint, which is already open for us. The hardest is going to be getting to the Dendro Hypostasis. However, the easiest bet would be going from Fontaine in the desert until we get to the hive stasis and that's gonna be our longest journey i think so we're gonna be doing a lot of working but yeah there's a new banner now also um zhao and yaimiko not that we really care about zhao and yaimiko but the cosmos is sort of starting to focus our builds more i don't know if i really want any new characters at the moment so I might hold off wishing just for a little, maybe one episode. I get the Prima Gems of Yai and Zhao. We should probably do these guys as well. At this stage, any materials is probably a good idea to get. Just because they can be quite hard to come by. All right, trial characters complete for another two weeks. Oh, it's Bennett's birthday. What a rare day. Happy birthday, Bennett. Oh, we're getting up there in friendship. Of course. Going to go to Fontaine first, just because it's relatively going to be relatively simple. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I didn't know that existed. Did you see that, guys? There's waypoints open. You know what? That's actually pretty cool, because or else it would be a mighty far way to go before you could ascend a lot of characters. They give new players a chance. Now we can just unlock this map. See it? I didn't even have to walk. Oh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit far, but we're closer than I thought we would be. Propelia. Level 41. Okay. That's fine. We'll just try our best. I'm not, I'm only used to fighting Capelius, so apologies for my lack of skill. It's nice playing with characters that aren't OP. You don't usually get that outside the Spiral Abyss. This is just worse though than Capelius. Oh my gosh. This is harder than I thought it would be. At least I need to do this like one or two times. Yahoo! I haven't tried yet. Two! Amazing! It was just that easy. I did almost die. So maybe this wasn't that easy. Now I just need Illumidos Bells. And then 15 meshing gear. These definitely aren't what I'm looking for. These are just a bunch of mints. And a Whopper power. It's really hard to know when you're going when you don't have a map. I cannot seem to find them anywhere. Oh, there we are. Oh, this is the heart one. Too bad I have no one to do it with. Do you guys use the Teva interactive map, the official one from Warriors, or do you use that one where Clo the Clotar one? <laughs> I don't actually know the name of it. I just know it's the it's the Clotar map. I used to use the Teva interactive map, like the official one. But honestly, the ability to comment random things on the other ones is actually hilarious. Oh, there we are. They're just hiding. I need one more. Also, I know there is a cooking event happening right now because I've been playing it on my main account. But it hasn't unlocked on this account for some reason. I don't know what adventure rank you're meant to be or you're meant to do certain quests before you do it i don't mind if i don't play it it's not essential to me but i would like to know why maybe i can have a look on the notices oh yeah to be adventure rank 28 or above i did like the event i thought it was very i liked the storyline i liked how simple it was i liked the gameplay and i need to go unlock the map of fontaine 
So I'll probably just do that really quickly so that we can identify the clockwork back around the map. Cool, but how do I get over here without losing stamina? Oh, it's a wait, is there a boat? <laughs> well, that makes things a lot easier. Let's go to the Acrobus. Yay! Goodbye, Val. Thank you for the trip. I know you can get down here, but I cannot remember how. I think there's a, there is a puzzle. Oh, right. Okay, no, I, I, I know where we're going. I have, to, I have to dive, go under somewhere, then I can get then I can get to him. Well, we're gonna do Lynette's farming, but as we're here, we might as well. We might as well do Ga Ming's boss as well. I don't think I've ever properly fought this boss before, so this should be interesting. How do I make the shield go away? What do I do with it? This is actually going quite good. I say that as Lynette takes half health. That's fine. Maybe because he's, yeah, he's vulnerable now. Hopefully we only have to fight this guy once. Until we get a bit stronger. Almost done. We did it. And no one died. So now no one dies, we win. Wait, did we get enough? Yes. Now we need to go get Star Conch. I think Gami is the first four star to use Star Conches as their ascension materials. Oh, we just can do hangout events now. Quest remaining 17. Wow. Genshin is truly a crazy game if you think about it. How do I get up here about the travelers? The travelers rock. We can ascend. Onward and upward. Oh, no, I don't. I don't want to level them up yet because I want to see where everyone's at, and I don't think we have enough to get to fifty. No, we don't even have enough to get to fifty. Right, let's go find the meshing gear. That is Lynette ascended. On to the next two. I don't know. Would I have a trek all the way to do the dendro hypostasis to see Mario, or I should go and face my fate with the ocean? I think I'm gonna take my chance and track all the way to Sumeru. I'd like to also ask in the comments if you're a new player, if you've been playing since Sumeru or Fontaine has come out, what's your experiences with exploration? Have you found it easy to get character ascension materials or did you struggle in the beginning or are you still struggling to find all of them because they're so far away? The best way to go is is unless there's a waypoint hiding here which i don't think there is i cannot see any probably go from here and go through there go down it's a long way insert montage here We're finally here! That took me so long! We walked the entire way here. So now it should be easier to send Yao Yao in the future. I remember not being too bad. You just need a Dendro character, which we have, so... My favorite hypostasis is definitely this one. Or the Electro one. The Electro hypostasis is really fun. There we go. It's fine, because it'll just regenerate itself. Really? It regenerates itself that much? Oh no. This is so annoying. Oh my god. I don't have to play Dendro. Oh well, you know what? It works. It works. It works. If it works, it works. It works. 
Uh, I hate this boss. All right, I guess we just gotta wait for it to respawn. So it is the next day, or actually two days later, and we are going to unfortunately attempt the Endro Hypostasis again. So the only gender character I actually have is Yao Yao. So I can beat the Hypostasis, but it's really difficult. I have to do it the hard way, but you know, alive, it has to be a challenge, I suppose. It wouldn't be fun if it wasn't at least a little bit difficult. <laughs> well, fun for you guys. Obviously. But rewarding for me as well. I love challenges. Also, I've just seen the 4.5 livestream and it's gonna be a selector. Is that only for five stars, right? Yeah. Travelers can obtain random five star, four star, and three star items from Chronicled Wish. But I'm not sure how it works because obviously it's mostly a five star selector. But I think you can select four star items. If that's correct, that is a big bonus to our account actually means we might not have to pull on the limited banner at all. It depends on what four stars there are on that banner. It's just five stars I see. I don't know if the four stars are random or you can select a path for a four star, but it depends how it works. I don't know. I don't know if it feels a bit of like cheating if I can just get whatever four star I want, right? So I don't know. I don't know if, if it's true, but we can select any four star you want as like a path. Again, I'm not sure. I haven't had a good look at it, so I might just be chatting absolute garbage. Can you select them? Wait, what What pity do you have? Is there just an increased chance or... I, I don't know, but if we somehow can, I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to like obtain one. I don't know if it'd feel a bit like not challenging. It's the slowest boss fight ever. Mr. Bunny, can you please go here? No. Next time I find this boss, I'll have Kale. And she can at least with Yao Yao. Oh, it's so annoying though, because it's, it's immune to Dendro. Finally. Wow. Yao Yao, that took too long. You know I love you when I'm willing to put up with that. Now all we need to do is fight the Oceanid. All right, Oceanid. Let's do this. Yes, I know she chose immune. You. Get over here. Go over here. What? <laughs> Bro. We did it! I thought I was going to die when that bird decided to become Jesus and walk on water. And we only got one, of course. Of course we only get one. This is a challenge after all. Well, at least while we wait, we can get some silk flowers for Zing Chow. Wish I never had to fight the ocean it again. Maybe we can use another character that isn't Ving Chao. Um, we can use Zhang Ling. Although she's not ascended. At least she'll probably be better than having Zing Chao on the team. Time to go again. See how Zhang Ling performs. Oh no, don't die, please. Birds again. Birds again. What is this? This is torture. Oh my. What developer has it out for me? Oh, not this shit again. Come on. Can you please? All right. That's the last one. Finally, I'm released from that torture chamber. Finally, our last descending character. Zigchel. That was difficult. 
<sighs> and then we should do this as well, but maybe not this episode. I think we're okay just on 40. We'll put Gami to 45. All right, let's go get our adventure mate reward because we get up to AR26. I haven't quite got that yet. Mm, okay, such a material that we don't need. They start giving out good rewards so early. They recommend being level 50. But I'm thinking potentially it will be okay. I think we'll be okay. Or at least pass it. I think we just need to pass it. Electrocharged. Well, uh, we don't have it. Maybe it wasn't the best idea. But you know what? This is what we do. I did get some four star artifacts just from ascending the characters. Maybe I should have got another one for Cho as well. That's a crit damage one. That could be good for gaming. So give this to Yao Yao and it'll level it up a bit. There we go. She'll have some more HP now. Can we get some Lynette some artifacts as well? I don't really know what to give her. We just need the stats, probably. Just want to stack energy recharge on Lynette. There we go. Have some healing bonus for Yao Yao. We can't beat it, and that's fine. As long as we get to the end, I think we'll get Kale. Alright, let's wish me luck. Oh, come on. Oh, You know what? It worked. It worked. It worked. That was horrendous. I thought the lower floors were bad. I didn't realize how horrendous the, the upper floors were. Especially for a new player. No wonder I never did Spiral Abyss until a lot later on in my account. For my main. No, these slimes are... These slimes need to be banned. These slimes, or at least it's not a time-focused one. It's just not getting the ley line. That's the main thing. It's very annoying. I understand why they want Electro, but I do not know why they specifically want Electro. Do they just want us to build Lisa? Maybe. Lisa would be perfect for this floor, but I don't have time. I don't have the resources to ascend anybody. This is it. I have no, no leveling on materials, no nothing. But there's more! Ah. You know what? Two stars, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. At least Yao Yao's healing. Don't jinx it. Oh, stop it, you stupid Samatro. I'm so glad I chose Yao Yao. Gosh, there's so many Hydro Abyss mages. How many can they fit in one floor? I, it shocked me, but maybe because I live in a bit of an echo chamber. But a lot of you guys were happy with the Ascension quest being nerfed. I guess that makes a lot of sense. I guess I'm from like, I don't know. I just think I uh, see a lot of very hardcore Genshin people's posts, but I think the reason why Genshin is so popular is that it's very sort of casual friendly. Like if you don't want to invest too much time into the game, you don't have to have perfect builds. You don't have to, again, like I'm doing this video, you don't have to have five star characters. You can just use characters that are a lot easier to come by and you would be absolutely fine. So I guess that's um good to realize, I guess. I'm not saying you guys are casual, by the way. <laughs> I'm not saying you guys are casuals. I'm just more saying that I understand why some people might not want just want to get the rewards and the buffs. I guess a lot of people think like, oh, it's hand-holding and they just want a bit of challenge in the game. Which is, you know, I'm all for a challenging game, I suppose, but maybe maybe that's just my opinion on it. I want to I wanna have a challenging opinion. And there we go! Three stars in that floor! Wow, I didn't realize we'd get three stars because we did so badly in the other floors. But we did it, guys. We did it. We did it. We beat floor four. All right. And there's our Kale. There we go. There's our girl, Kale. I'm very excited. She's going to be a big asset to our team. Unfortunately, I don't really have a lot to level her up with. And unfortunately, I can't get these. Uh, well, I can just go to Sumeru and get them, I suppose. But yeah, we have a sack boat or a... Mm, I don't know. Probably a sack, right? Because she can throw her skill twice. I think a sack would be good on Kale. But I'm definitely excited to use Kale. I like using Dendro teams. So we can have Yao Yao on one team. We have Kale as well. Kale's definitely... Our list of characters is growing. 16 characters that we can use. Yeah, but I definitely want to send more characters in the future. It's just that we're kind of low on resources. But I think that later on in the series, we'll have a lot more strength and resources to send a lot more characters. So don't worry if some of them look a bit underleveled. 
I'm just trying to prioritize a working team right now. That's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this far. Please like and subscribe. I know it's cheesy, but it really does help out my channel and it makes me know that you guys are liking this series. If you want to see more, there should be a playlist this is in to watch the older episodes or newer episodes or watching this in the future. But thank you so much guys and I'll see you all in the next one.